Happy Who's with, first? Happy with what you've uh, seen these uh, first few days of practice? Uh, I am. I mean, that guy's are out flying around, um, um, trying to make some plays. I mean, we're nowhere where we need to be yet, of course. Uh, but uh, I see improvement each each and every day, and um, see him getting out there. Like I say, young guys, older guys, they're competing, and um, uh, for the most part, we're we're getting better. Did you see a good amount of retention from the spring that's translated to these preseason practices? I did, uh, um, especially offensively. You know, um, I can tell guys have been working this off season, and there's not a lot of mental mistakes. You know, I think um, we can be so much better technically in, in how we do things, and um, they say each and every day we're we're getting better at working on those things. But uh, you don't have a lot of missed assignments, and that that's good to see here early in camp. Now we still. Haven't put a lot of things in, but um, especially defensively, we uh, haven't put a lot in. But uh, as camp go on, we'll see how they retain a lot of things that we're, we're um, installing. How was the first day with shells? Uh, it was good. Still got to teach our guys to practice like pros, you know, and stay off the stay off the ground where we're not tackling. And um, sometimes we get competitive and, and want to get out there, and we need to wait until uh, we go to tackling and. Again, sometimes that's part of it, but uh, it was good. Coach, is there anybody that's jumped out of this through the first four days of camp? Anybody that's kind of surprised here? No, I wouldn't necessarily say a surprise. I just uh, been impressed. I've been impressed with all of our young guys um, and what they're doing, and and then our older guys. They're they're getting better um, and what they're and, and what they're doing, you know. But I do think um, again, I go back to some of the young the freshmen, uh, especially in our secondary, on what they're doing. Um, uh, it's been very impressive. And I really think um, uh, help pushing everybody else. You know, they say iron shop and iron, and um, I think our guys are, are really doing that um, now. And again, it's it's good to see. Uh, it's good to see those guys coming in and competing and um, uh, retaining some of the things that we're installing uh, as freshmen to get it and go out there and execute it. Um, it's been cool to watch. Do you feel like things are slowing down a little bit for the younger guys, you know, maybe earlier than expected? Uh, I wouldn't say it's slowing down. We're, we're not necessarily putting a lot in for them right now. And that's not just the young guys, the older guys, too, and, and getting really good at some of the little things that we do and the foundation of the things that we want to do and um, get better. But I, and I say that more for defensively than offensively. Um, I think offensively we put a lot more in than – that we have defensively, and but it's like I said, it's good to see that I got guys retain that from the spring, and 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 also um, our young young guys picking up again, which tells me they put in some work this summer with our older guys, and um, it helps practice go smoothly. You don't have a lot of do overs or anything; they just they're going out and competing. Uh, do we do everything perfectly? No, but um, we 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 making improvements and we getting better. You still have a lot of those young guys at wide receiver. What have you seen from that position group so far? Uh, maturity uh, from from last year. Like you say, they're young. Some guys redshirted. Um, I look at a guy like Warren Thompson. Um, he's been very impressive this spring. Um, um, Jordan Young been very impressive this spring and what he's doing. And and Demarcus Adam. He's 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 done some good things. Um, I said spring this this training camp um, as well. Um, those guys are. Again, making making plays, and um, I look at Keyshawn and and Trayshawn. I've really been impressed with those guys, and and not only of execution, but the way they come out and practice every day has been been really cool to see. Did Adams get banged up? We didn't see him yesterday. Yeah, he tweaked his ankle um, in practice the other day, and um, but uh, hopefully we'll get him back here soon. But Jawan Williams, what have you liked? What have you seen from him both in terms of confidence and on the field? Well, I think when you get bigger and stronger, that helps with your confidence, and. Um, and then when you're a little older, that helps with your confidence too, and, and knowing what to do. And um, uh, he's he's been out making plays. He's I will say he's a lot better than what he was before, and he should be at this time. But um, his confidence there, I think he's believing in his coach, his teammates, and um, believing in himself more importantly, you know, and what he can get accomplished. And I see him coming out here every day with a great attitude and. Um, he's different. I will say that just mentality wise, he's been different. And uh, I really like the Juwan that we have right now. Uh, Devon, or excuse me, Dante mm -hmm. got some work with the ones. How does he fit in with that group as just a young guy? Um, the thing about Dante, he, he's very aggressive. I mean, he, he tried to get out there, you know, and um, just watching him in, in practice. And with those guys, he, he does a great job. Um, he's 
probably the most physical guy up front when it comes to coming off the ball and getting after people. You know, he's still a young guy, still learning, and you have some mistakes here and there. And I think they're they're more just mental mistakes and just more reps. The more reps he get, the better it be. And um, but he's doing some good things um, in there with the with the young guys and watching him block Marvin Wilson. Sometimes is pretty cool to see a freshman go out and block that guy. You know, you can block him. Um, you can pretty much block anyone. Now, I will say this, when you tick him off, you better be ready the next play because he's coming. With integrating the 3-4, uh, have you seen guys adjusting to the roles, especially maybe if the roles change from how they kind of were last season? Um, yeah, and I would say, I mean, we're doing we're doing multiple things, just not 3-4. We're still doing what we did before, and, and but it's good to see guys in different position and, and actually going out there and executing and look really good at doing what they're doing and uh, been really impressed with them. I think we've we've gotten – faster on defense and uh, got a little more length on our defense as well. And, and that's been good to see out of our guys. But every guy that's that's moved, it seems like they moved to the right position and they're fitting in well where they're at. Is there anybody really flourishing with the different roles? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say just flourishing. I mean, it, what, day three, four? Um, I wouldn't say flourishing. I think guys are getting better. But if you watch them, again, like Kano and J-Rob and things they're doing, um, you see in the athletic ability, you know, that um, you de didn't necessarily see because you had them rushing every time. But so uh, seeing those guys run around, especially in space, it's been a, it's been nice to see um, what they are, they can do and, and think it's going to be a great addition to what we're doing. How, how crucial has the, the depth at linebacker been to allowing you guys to, to, to be more multiple on defense? Well, um, I, w I would say it's been good to get some speed on there um, and guys running around. That's I think that's the difference that you're seeing now, uh, especially out of the linebacker position. Is uh, seem like we're more athletic and, and faster, and and that's making a, a big difference for us. Is Kendo okay? It didn't look like he yeah, he, he tweaked his ham, hammy a little bit. Um, we're just being a little precautious and make sure that we're we're not gonna uh, make it worse than what it is. A guy like Hamza, I think, bounced back to defensive back. Is mm -hmm. is that like a fluid situation, or is there a certain point in camp where you'll determine the guys this is going to be their home now? No, I think um, a guy like Hamza, you probably see a little bit everywhere. You know, he's going to um, uh, do some good things for us on defense, and um, you'll see him a, a little, little bit everywhere with the defense and things that Coach Barnett is doing. And then you and Kendall just just watching tape. Are you guys seeing the same stuff from the quarterbacks? And I guess what are your guys' thoughts uh, through three practices of how they're performing? Well. Um, you, you watch practice, and I mean, you could tell James have um, control of the offense. He knows the offense, which he should. You know, been here in the spring, him and him and Jordan both. You know, those guys are uh, further ahead from that. But you can tell by experience and and um, the work that Alex put in this summer. That um, I mean, one, he's he's a mature guy, and um, he's learned a lot this summer because he he comes out. And again, there haven't been a lot of missed assignments by him, you know, it's just sometimes from a technique standpoint, not necessarily exactly what we want. But again, it's, it's only four days of practice. He'll, he'll get better at that as well. But um, I like all three of them, you know, and and um, we uh, got to continue to get better. And again, it's day four. We're going to see who, who's consistent and more importantly, who can who can produce and, and um, lead our offense. Looking forward to full pads coming on Always looking forward to full pads. You know that's when, the, that's when these questions y'all ask, y'all get some good answers after that. You know, so uh, uh, right now, but I will say this: those guys are flying around, even with shoulder pad helmet, uh, they're flying, flying around and hitting. And sometimes you got to hold them back, you know, because they really want to get out there and want to hold up until we put on full pads and and really see what it's like. These damn. Men. You had a number of players come in kind of bulked up. Um, overall, as a team, how do you feel about the shape everyone came in in? Um, I think we're in shape. I don't necessarily think we're in football shape. You know, I think there's a little different uh, difference in that. And, and um, you saw that in the first uh, few days of practice, especially when we went separate practice. Yesterday was a little better having having all the guys together. But um, that's something you, you kind of get in throughout training camp and get back to football shape. and um, and. I think we'll see our guys um, here the next couple of days. You start to see that they're getting back in the flow of things. But they've gotten bigger and, and stronger. And you can see it in a lot of guys and, and the way they, they play. And, and But, um, again, we're not in the football shape that we want to be at. Is there a different level of conditioning for, for the tempo? Is it more of a mental thing the guys need to be ready to, to go through with all these reps? Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's mental for sure. You know, um, you you got to think fast, you know. You got to think while you're tired. And, um, 
But again, it's, I think it's more of a repetition thing and just getting comfortable with it. I think our guys are better at it now from doing it last year. It was so much better now and, and doing it. So that makes it a lot easier for our guys, just seeing them line up and, and uh, again, not having a lot of pre-snap penalties. And even in practice, you can tell they're um, comfortable with what we're doing now. And, and probably more than anything, they understand what we're doing. And, and when they can understand that, then you can do it better. Coach, what we saw the first few practices, it seemed like the defense is working a lot on creating turnovers. Is mm -hmm. that uh, renewed emphasis to really focus on that? Yeah, um, I think it's more of uh, just understanding how those take, how you get takeaways. You know, some, you got to see the ball to be able to take the ball away. You know, so putting our guys in position where they can take the ball away and not, not just tell them to go take the ball away, but actually drilling it and, and uh, putting them in a position where they can do it, you know. But and we know as a football team, we have to be so much better defensively and getting the ball back to us. And uh, so we're putting the emphasis on it uh, daily. Um, you guys had a couple interceptions, like first practice, but then like the offense kind of forced a couple fumbles while they were like returning it. Uh, is that something you guys are talking about or was it just like this first practice stuff? Uh, I mean, you always talk about it. You're always coaching it. And when things happen, you got to correct it. And you know, even defensively, you can't take the ball away and give it back. You know, but offensively, um, we've always coaching our guys. You you lose that ball, you better find a way to get it back because that's everybody's dream, goals, and aspiration. The coaches, your teammate, the fan, we all count on you to take care of that ball. So um, uh, we need you to get it back if you so happen to put it on the ground and then defensively keep it so we can uh, get it for our offense. How's tomorrow? Thank you. Last one. Uh, going well. You know, we heal a little differently around here. Uh, it's going well. He's he's looking good. Uh, I would say he'll get back sooner rather than later, and he's ready to get back. You know, so uh, love the way he's rehabbing and, and love the, uh, the uh, his mentality behind it all. But he's he's itching to get back, and I can tell. I mean, he's he's watching film too and seeing other guys make plays, and he want to be one of those guys too. So um, looking forward to him him getting back. Thank you, Thank you. All right, thank you guys.